On behalf of India Art and Design, we'd like to thank all the dignitaries from across the globe for taking our time today to join us. Moving on, we would now like to call on stage Mrs. Savita Hira, the co-founder and editor of India Art and Design. Let's hear it from her about the journey that India Art and Design has made over the last nine years. Thank you, Udita. You create. All of you here. We present. You read, therefore we write. You are, therefore we are. Nine years has been a long journey. And I'm very happy to say and thank you all that you have journeyed with us, held our hands at times and built, we've built together. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to all of you who have joined us here today to mark the beginning of a new journey for us today and many new beginnings that we foresee. Ladies and gentlemen, India Art and Design is, we call it the Creatives Weekly Infotainer because it is like a, a bouquet. It's a bouquet of different design disciplines uh, under broad heads of architecture, art, design, decor and lifestyle. So we talk about different kinds of subjects. Design 360 is what we call it. And the vision that we had for it, I'm very glad to say today, it's a very momentous occasion. The vision that we had for this magazine, uh, we have managed to sustain it to this day. The vision to be a platform, to be a voice of the industry uh, through analysis, dispassionate analysis, I should say, uh, through unbridled uh, commentary and uh, through user-worthy insight. And we have maintained this. And for this, we have you to thank. When we began uh, in 2011, it was actually a, a personal blog that I started when I was introduced to the medium of the internet by a friend. And uh, very soon this personal blog started uh, changing its avatar. It very soon grew from periodic posts to uh, a regular weekly schedule and it changed from a blog to an easy. Over here, we had contributions from different people so the circulation started increasing more people started writing into us and we realized that uh, we started getting a lot of exclusive projects so we became uh, we were very fortunate that uh, we would uh, feature a lot of uh, we were the first to feature a lot of national and international stories and this is what uh, increased our credibility kind of endorsed us as a publisher of discerning Again, as I say, it is because of people like you who shared their uh, projects with us uh, that we were able to do justice to them. We were able to understand what needs to be shown to the world and how it needs to be shown to the world. And for this, there's a big shout out also to our writers, my team of writers, of architectural writers, of lifestyle writers who developed this extremely crisp storytelling skill and um, would present the entire project in two minute, in a two minute read. So they learn to sift the shaft from the wheat and zero in on the essence of the project and immediately uh, kind of instantly bring you to the core uh, that mattered. Where I am concerned personally, I would say, firstly, I would say when I'm talking about the India art and design journey, chronology is important. The chronological growth is important but i don't seem to be talking about the chronological growth only because its emotional and empathetic growth is much closer to the heart i have been a design writer for 30 years it's been a long journey and i am still as intrigued by design as i was when i first got introduced to it but yes uh, i have a ready reckoner a person who has uh, guided me monitored my learning uh, shown me the right from the wrong, uh, taught me that in design um, there are different perspectives, there are tangents to the circle and one must view it from various tangents. He's a person also who has pushed the envelope in his own career and is responsible for pushing the envelope for India Art and Design. I owe the success journey of India Art and Design to him. None other than my husband, Dalithira 
interior and furniture designer and publisher of India Art and Design. So today, as we start a new chapter, I thank you all for being here once again. And I'm looking out to much bigger and better tomorrows, the road ahead, which is full of promise, raring to go, promising to be more satisfying. Thank you.